Before you head out to vote, don't forget to check your precinct, have a valid form of ID ready, and review what will be on your ballot. Can't stress enough, if you live in Duval County, some precincts may have changed since the last time you voted. Unlike with early voting today, you also have to go to the precinct assigned to you. It's the location listed on your voter ID card. You can also check at DuvalElections.com. Melanie Lawson is joining us now live from the Duval County Election Center. And Mel, if voters still need help, it is available. It sure is. I mean, here is the location where they will be taking phone calls. It's pretty early. And as you heard Robert Phillips say, the chief elections officer, this is the time when they are scrambling, making sure that everything is ready. And if people do have questions, they can get those answers by calling that number. We'll give it to you in just a second. All right. So I want to bring you in now because we are getting a few calls from people. Apparently at Precinct 209, some of the scanning devices are down. And so people are actually having to put their ballots in a box. Mm -hmm. And some of them are a little disconcerted about this and and some are saying i'm not going to vote here because i don't think that that is the proper way of doing things can you explain that process yeah we don't want anyone to be alarmed about that again it is a it is just a machine sometimes the internal compartments of a machine will break down but we do have procedures for that uh, we have people we call rovers that will bring new equipment to that site and they're probably working on that right now as we speak but there is a there is a compartment in the ds200 that we call the emergency compartment if there is any problem that is where the voter puts their ballot we also tell the voter they can come back at seven o'clock and watch that ballot be fed through because as i said before every vote will be cast and they will be cast on that tabulator and so that is part of our standard procedure and and it happens uh it, it does happen frequently and that's why we have a procedure for it yeah and i think you know there's so much talk about voter fraud um you know here in duval county and all of our counties trying to make people feel assured that it is safe um you know when they see something like that it's more just the perception versus the reality to your point that those votes will be counted and again that can be a public process absolutely and that's why we want people to know that that transparency is always key uh, and and our accountability is key so that we know how many ballots have been cast at that precinct so they're not you know being disposed of there it's not a trick nobody's trying to you know take your take your vote away from you but that is again like I said machines just break down that happens even though we test every one of them before they go out so okay let me ask you um you know I know you try to predict which are going to be really busy spots. Mm -hmm. um, how do you all make that determination as far as how many machines go to each location? You know, we've had people calling in saying there should be more, mm -hmm. you know, at certain locations. Well, some locations are always going to be very busy. Yeah. Uh, with, with as many people as we have taking advantage of early voting now, that has also taken away from some of our election day crowd. So we look at the total number of people that are registered at that precinct. We look at the historical turnout for the kind of election it is. And if there's an early voting site that's close by that's kind of taken some of the air out of that balloon for that precinct. So if a lot of people have already voted there, then they're not going to be as busy on election day. Right, and you'll make that determination based on what you see in advance. It's kind of fluid, yeah, but we always make a determination in advance because the equipment goes out a week before the election. All right, and just quickly, I hear the phones ringing. So anything in particular that you're hearing um, people are questioning about? It's, I think it's just human nature. People wait till the last minute, and today is the last minute. If you don't vote today, you're not going to be able to. So a lot of people are calling and saying, where's my polling location? Where can I go vote? So again, you have a voter information card that was mailed to you. You have a sample ballot that was mailed to you. Find that, check that. You can go to our website. You can look up your voter information on the website. And if that, as a last resort, you can always give us a call. All right, and let me give that number. It's 904-255-8683. That's 255-VOTE. Very simple. And they are here to answer your questions. In the end, just make sure that you exercise your right to vote. Back to you in the studio.